Hi, I'm James with TVS Pro here doing another DJI video. This one on the DJI Osmo. We've been waiting around a long time. Everybody has for this product. If you were at the Consumer Electronics Show uh, in Vegas in January of this year, then you were able to see this product, but it was of a different design, different color, and it had a different, it didn't even have a name. Uh, we've had lots of questions, lots of inquiries on this product. And I think that they pushed it back, uh, which is one of the coolest reasons f about this product is that they pushed it back to make it compatible with all three cameras that are compatible with the Inspire, the X3, the X5, and the X5R that is said to come out here before the end of the year. So this video is an unboxing and full setup Watch for another video. Uh, we'll do full instruction on the app and the capabilities and different options and settings and things that you can do with the Osmo and your mobile device. So without any further delay, uh, as you open it, first thing that you'll notice is a little box here. Inside this guy is going to be your quick start guide and there'll be a contents little page and things in there. Uh, yeah, quick start guide. Uh, Next thing you'll notice is that hard case right there up on the top. I actually, I really like this case. Uh, it looks kind of like a little miniature violin case, maybe something the Sopranos would carry around with them, put a handgun or something in this guy. But no, it's really kind of cool. It's got uh, some uh, loops here on top because there is a shoulder strap in there that you can attach it to. Before I open up this guy, uh, there are two other smaller boxes inside here. Uh, in the smaller box and they've kind of gone through the trouble of putting little labels on the top. So in here is your charger and your battery and the battery will be inside this little plastic sleeve there and so there is your battery and if I remember correctly this will last or get you up to a full hour's worth of use when you're running around with it and if I remember I believe those spare batteries are about 30 bucks uh, the charger as well is about 30 bucks. In the larger case here, you've got your power cord to go with your charger. Like I mentioned before, your shoulder strap, and then there's just a little cap. This is if you take off or remove the mobile device holder on the Osmo. It's just a little cover for that rosette mount that is on there. If I put those aside, open up the case. Um, if you've seen other three axis gimbals, instantly you're gonna look at this and recognize that the quality, the build, the craftsmanship is, it's the nicest three axis handheld gimbal I've seen. The case is really nice, smooth, felt on the inside and you've got this Velcro strap that is kind of tying down the handle. The handle is wrapped in leather. Uh, you can see the joystick, your record and your shutter button right there. So I'm gonna open this up and you'll notice I, this wrist strap was in this box, but I already in my previous uh, opening when I first opened this to get some sample footage using the camera, I attached this on there. So you'll find this wrist strap inside that box. And you'll notice there's a little piece of foam here that's just helped supporting that camera from moving around. Uh, you can remove that piece of foam. And then on this side, you've got a lock switch. And so if I lock it, you can hear that click and it locks that into place. And then if I unlock that, obviously it unlocks that pan access. Your mobile holder here swings out. I can rotate it this way. And then these pivot out, <laughs> really a cool design uh, to support the corners of your mobile device or your smartphone. Um, from there, you'll notice that the camera is kind of locked into place. It's kind of on its side here. On this side, you've got some lock and unlock symbols. Uh, really kind of cool, so it didn't travel, it just is help protecting that gimbal. So if you rotate it in the direction of that unlock, and you can feel it, and same thing with the camera, and now I'm ready to go. Um, you will have a lens cap on the front of this guy, so if I remove this, take that lens cap off, and I've got my camera. Again, this is the X3 camera, so if you're familiar with that on the Inspire, this is the same size of filter, and DJI makes an ND4, ND8, and an ND16. I believe all three of those are about 29 bucks. So if you are shooting in broad daylight or whatnot, those neutral density filters will really help out uh, your footage. So 
If I need to, I'm just going to kind of work my way down here. I've got uh, a lock and unlock. If I twist this, and I'm going to put my finger on top of the gimbal so it doesn't fall off. But that's how you unlock and lock that gimbal. And because the gimbal is part of the camera, that's how they're able to make it compatible with the X5 and the X5R is because those gimbals built into the cameras are compatible with those cameras, the size and the weight and everything. So it's really easy. You've got your joystick right there your record button and your shutter button, and then you've also got your trigger here on front. And in that full instruction video, we'll go in on all of these features and of course your power button. This one again, we're just focusing on the unboxing and the setup. So at this point, what you're gonna wanna do is go into settings and go into your Wi-Fi. I'm using an Apple device or iOS. And I'm gonna power on my Osmo here. Oh, I need to install the battery. Foolish me, that will help. When I first unboxed this, the battery was completely dead, so I did have to put it on a charger uh, before I was able to power this up. Now, when I power this up, you're gonna see the gimbal do its thing, and it's gonna straighten itself and line itself, do its little jig. When you power it on for the first time, it will not react the way you just saw, it because you have to go into the app and activate it first under your DJI account before it will do this, okay? So now that I've got uh, this powered on and I'm in my Wi-Fi settings, you'll see it clearly, it says Osmo. I click on it, it'll be thinking until I get a check mark. Once I get a check mark, I can go back out to my DJI Go app and it will automatically just connect to there. Uh, when you do that initial setup again, you will have to follow those steps log in with your DJI account, and uh, then it'll power up. So from there, I can take my phone, put it in those corners, pull it out, and I can kind of line these up a little bit better if I need to, but there you go. From there, I can angle this, and there's all kinds of different attachments. There's some extension arms that will add a second rosette. Uh, one of those tools is uh, like a cheese plate with a shoe mount on there, so I could get a shotgun mic. You do have a microphone here on front, but there is a mic input as well, so you could take a DSLR shotgun mic that you're using, mount it on that extension, and plug it into there. There's tripods, extension poles, and everything else, but from there, you're off and running. I can hit record and start recording. Pretty simple. Thank you for watching. Again, watch for that uh, instruction video on all the features in the app.